All right, hi there, guys. Uh, it is Mrs. Sturman, aka Maestro Pants, joined here with Peter Sturman Wilson, aka Arya Deva, uh, and we are going to bring you a cast of epic proportions. This is Hilliard Cybercats versus Chillicothe, uh, and this is a battle from uh, March. 15th Monday, so we're gonna load on into the rift here. Picks and bans have already happened um, on both sides, so we are excited to see what this brings. This is our Esports Ohio um, second week of the tournament. All right, so let's just take a quick look at these team compositions here and talk a little bit about them. On the red side for Hilliard, we have Orn, Warwick, Echo, Zaya and Rakan, the lovers duo there in the bot lane. And on the blue side for Chillicothe, we have Fiora, Amumu, Vigar, Vayne, and Alistar. So I know normally we give a little bit of context when they're loading in. And also seeing a little bit of just funny banter between uh, the teams, a good luck, have fun coming out from Chillicothe. Um, and uh, yeah, so you will see that this setup, oh, and yeah, and uh, some pings here as we get five-man start on the red side. Um, you'll see that this looks a little bit different um, maybe than previous casts, but uh, just kind of explaining that and why it's happening. So, okay, Alistar with the cowbell. If yep. you're going to play him, you got to go that skin. More cowbell. Yep, you always need it. So uh, with these compositions here, what we're seeing is uh, that matchup in the top lane, the Fiora into the Orin, typically something... Oh, good luck, have fun, from an actual bird, good, good stuff. Good stuff, good stuff. The GLHF back from Greedy Wizard 1. Um, and with the Fiora into that Orin, uh, you're really looking for the scaling as the Orin, and we might actually have some action already. Yep, some, in, some trading pre-2 here. Uh, and there's actually a lot of damage going down the Fiora bullying that Orn. He'll probably have to back here. Uh, meanwhile, blue side starting on the red buff and red side starting on the blue buff. Oh, well, that is so complimentary and wonderful with yes, the, the buff and color. Yes, I compliment that compliment. But uh, it looks like uh, the Orn is just going to TP back to lane here. Didn't want to yep. start off lane with that. Won't have that cooldown. We'll see if that means anything later on. Uh, and in the mid lane here, uh, like we talked about, we have the scaling matchup in the top side. The orange is trying to farm up, and um, the Fiora going to have those relatively easy early trades until the orange gets some armor on him. In the middle lane, we have the split pusher kind of matchup with the... Oh, some more trading in the top lane. Yeah, just back and forth. Okay, orange now chunking out the Fiora pretty yep. nicely. Yep, and um, uh, like, like I was saying, the split pusher echo versus the more scaling team fight. Uh, Vagar there, and in the jungle matchup, uh, definitely some some junglers that want to farm until level six. You know mm -hmm. they can pull off the ganks earlier, but their level six ganks are much more devastating. Um, level two in the top lane now. Level two bottom uh, advantage goes to red side. Let's see how they there. yeah take advantage of that. Also very nice skinnergy going on in uh, the bot side. And, ooh, nice damage coming in from the Echo onto the Vagar, but Good Amumu trade. is hanging back there a little bit. Um, Amumu just guarding against the all in there, but Echo just taking the trade and backing out. And, That's a uh, really pretty skin, too, and a pretty chroma from that orange. Just gotta throw that out there. Gotta love the skin energy. Yep, Rakan getting some vision down. And just talking about this last matchup real quickly here in the bottom lane. Vayne and Alistar is very, very weak early, so they don't really turn online until level 6 when Vayne has her ultimate, can kind of dance around with that stealth. Uh, the Zaya Rakan always going to have that inbuilt synergy. Uh, with the the advantages they get as champions with each other versus any other bot lane duo So i uh, gonna be able to bully here push here have the priority in the bottom lane until later on when that vein really gets some items and scales up and gets the levels You'll also notice we have a little bit of a shifting around of our players on the Hilliard side so mystical um, taking a walk from mid lane to go bot and play with an actual bird and ask noob one of our uh, one of our subs coming in and, and helping us out in mid lane so definitely gonna be a jam-packed game I know that ask noob and mystical both like um, playing aggressive uh, styles where they can get lots of points and position well in team fights for that so excited to see what comes with that especially with the team fight from the Ornal and, and roaming from the Warwick we'll this, see this Amumu looking pushing away for a gank. Just hovering for now. Yeah. Maybe gonna invade. Yep, looks like he's heading over there to the Krugs. Yep, Amumu going, getting those Krugs, stealing those nom, away. Nom, nom, nom. We do uh, 
have a double scuttle from the red side, so that's kind of what got traded there. No mana on the Ooh. Vagar, and good trade. Very good trade. Uh, Echo uh, showing the dominance in the lane. Nice root on in the oh. bot lane. Oh, and okay, okay. Just took the turret shot. He had the guardian. Yeah, but he had the, the guardian. Shield, it's all good. So, you so know? he didn't take too much damage there. Lo no his love protected him, babe. Exactly. Yeah. The, the love, the guardian. You know, the the runes are are bound in love. Love it. All right. <laughs> Uh, oh, oh and here it is. Oh, landing that stun. That's fine. Oh, good flash out from the Ornn. Um, you know, we'll see if they take advantage of that flash being out and do a repeat gank or not. Um, but that was nicely done to yeah. save him from getting first blooded there. Good on both sides. You know, nice positioning from the Amumu. I know we have the God Vision as the Observer so we can see everything that's going on. Oh. But coming out from that clear on the Krugs and... Even knowing he could take that little turret shot and walk his way out afterwards to get the trade, get the flash. Good good job, both, both sides. Yep, absolutely. And I like what, also in the bot lane, it may not seem like there's a ton of action or things like that, but the wave management right here is very, very nice. And just being aware of where you are and pushed up, getting when you can. Oh, and now it is Hilliard's turn to get the gank off there if you're in a tight space having to flash out. So that's flash for flash up in the top. And so, you know, we'll see how that goes, but that definitely um, is is a nice trade back for the Hilliard side. Yeah, uh, we can that see both the those junglers are going to be looking to later on and uh, looking at the items here, we have the uh, the tanks both looking towards that Bramble vest. I know this is something that Bubble Puppy was excited to try out on the Orn. So, a uh, pro tip for those of you out there, if you take... Oh, Ooh, nice route. Very here. nice route. Rakan going in there. Level up, just hitting on Zyra to get five above anyone else. Oh, and Amumu's Ooh, here. Oh, but Amumu's here. That's a cool skin, too. We'll see what happens if they think they need to flash or if they think they'll be safe. Amumu landing the stun, so that is a fair amount of damage down. But, yep, that will be flash out, but life saved. Um, and so that's, that's a good call. Down. and. Let's see, Echo thinking, what can we get? Uh, Vagar sees it though, spots him out with the vision plant. Oh, Warwick also too. making known. Going in, going out. All, All right. right, just, just checking out, scoping, bottle, window yeah. shopping, if you will. All well, right, not gonna like buy anything here? today. No, I'm not gonna buy one. Yeah, no, no, I'll wait till you know it's on sale later. But uh, back to that pro tip we were talking about on the Orn, since he is that unique champion that can build in lane. You can actually take Future's Market on him, and after the first three waves, if you start Cloth Armor, you can build a Bramble Vest. So a great way to get some early advantage in those matchups that are difficult and that need the tankiness early, the anti-heal early, like against the Fiora. Nice trading here in the mid, Ooh. and Fiora's here. Yeah, Fiora's here. That's a nice roam. Warwick, though, nearby, able to help out his mid laner. And, yep, yeah, little harm. Um, Mumu also here. Lots of people. It's a party. Yep. And, oh, Fiora chasing this Warwick. Let's see, into his jungle, and Amumu following in. It. This is deep, dropping the ward too, but Echo's right nearby, just leveled up, now level 7. Uh, yeah, just saying, okay, fine, I'll take your chickens for dinner. Yeah, having the, the priority in the top lane right there allows him to get off that invade safely, and Echo dodging out nicely, even though he's trapped in the cage. Yeah, that was some nice fancy feet from the boy who stopped time. Shatter time, even. Shatter time! Oh, that's so much better. Ooh, so much better. All right. Checking out CS, seeing how we are. You'll see that that CS differential in the bot lane is building, and that is nice. Um, a little bit different in the top lane, but not too bad. Jungle about even. You can see on the gold here, uh, the, the negative gold that is in Orn's pockets. Don't be fooled by it. That is the futures market coming through. You can actually overspend, and that's what that rune does. So Interesting. Yeah, that's um, not very, very interesting. And, uh, it's not a good my... like, lesson we're teaching, but that's okay. <laughs> exactly. As long you know... <laughs> It's it's fine to borrow as long as you know you have the income and you can pay it back responsibly. But there you um, go, make good choices. And, exactly, yeah, exactly. Okay. And we see the the gold balancing out in the different lanes. You know, about a three hundred advantage for the red side in the bottom lane, about three hundred on the top side. Echo trading Ooh, here. Ooh, no Echo going. Yeah. Ooh, getting dangerously low, but still, there's there's a confidence to him. You can tell that he is. This is his lane. And Fiora... Well, he, he knows that there's no mana out. on the Vagar. There's not much he can do alone. But if that Rome had come in a little bit earlier, might have been in danger. Mm-hmm. Let's see. Amumu also mid. Um, yeah, they are which pushing means, out here. Yeah, Drag is just Maybe there. started up by the Warwick, and they're dropping Herald. Yep, dropping Herald. 
So we'll see if some pings going out there. That is a nice charge off. That's a fair amount of chunk of change Orange to the blue in. side. We'll see trying to stop this push, getting Shelly down, and the uh, red team gets the Drake. Yeah, so uh, just kind of a, a trade of objectives and uh, cooldowns for for the teams there. And you can see Echo going up to the top side to catch the wave that's going to bounce back. So There's always another TP wave. To save that one. So a uh, good job from him there. And, uh, you know, that's something you typically see in a lot of uh, gameplay where the, the teams are both aware of the objectives. You're not always going to get everything. So yep. if you can't get something then get you something recognize else. that and you get something else yeah. as quickly as possible. If you're not with the objective you love, love the objective you're with. Exactly. All right, so now Fiora Echo up there trading. And this, um, oh, and Ornn oh, also here hiding. Here. We'll see kind of what's going on with this. Ornn all coming in and, oh, just making it, getting that knock up on the Fiora. Uh, nothing much to come from that, but still uh, good in the mindset. And junglers are hanging out near this top side as yeah. that's a turret plate going down. You know, just saying, have you met the Forge God? Here, say hi. <laughs> yes, friendly deity uh Friendly meetings. neighborhood deity, yeah. <laughs> yes. Um, Warwick kind of hovering up towards this top side, covering his... Uh, laners and seeing if the scuttle can be fought for and see how they posture here. Ooh, yeah Going in pings coming in echo coming over to see or oh, landing maybe. the slow Oh, that's some nice damage down landing the stun there. But oh three a person knocked in there Mumu's going down. That is the first blood. That's a late first blood folks uh, almost 11 minutes in but that's that's nice, and that means that'll be Scuttle over to Hilliard, and Fiora needs to be careful knowing that there were the people there, but it seems like they're heading back mid, and Orin is staying top. Yeah, good job recognizing that they had the numbers advantage there. They saw everyone else on the map, and they capitalized. Um, they put the wreck in recognizing. Th they, they did. They wrecked them. They, they wrecked them, and <laughs> um, they actually got their, oh, maybe oh, a kill trading in. Oh, that's very nice. Okay, Orin showing the sun landing, but, oh, flash out from the Fiora, but Orin is a tanky boy and gets that kill. Oh. Warwick coming to help, but doesn't even need to. Quite the outplay there. You saw the Fiora wow. tried to flash to get the vital proc to reset her Q and go back for the next one. Uh, just wasn't enough, you know. When you're in that situation, when he does have at this point the ninja, uh, sorry, not ninja tabbies anymore, plated steel caps, yep. the cloth armor, and the bramble vest, uh, she's just not going to do enough damage with only that. Also, sector. you'll see the CS differential jumped up oh, majorly too. Here. All right, Mumu coming into the bot lane. We'll see if they can escape this gang. Stun, stun landing. Zai all coming out. Rakan able to jump to his love. And this has been turned. I mean, this is a, a 3v2 oh, hopping in. Let's see Echo coming in now. Exhaust out on the Rakan. Landing that stun too. He's going to go down. Um, Zvain picking it up. Let's see. Ooh, the stun landing on a Zaya too. Now this is dicey now that the TP is in. Also, Vigar here. Um, that's another down member. Echo popping his all, trying to live. Let's see what happens. Is he going to make it? Makes it out there. That's another turret shot, but it doesn't matter because there's no one here to follow up on it. So that, it looked really good and promising, but just getting that collapse and the TP in from the blue side spelled, spelled minor disaster for yeah, Hilliard. It, it seemed like a good turn for Hilliard there until the TP came in, and then the numbers advantage ended up making it a two for one. So uh, you can see that kind of evening back up that gold because it had been swinging in Hilliard's favor. Yep, absolutely. Still good CS numbers on that uh, Zaya, uh, 100, and Mumu facing off against that red buff. Yeah, he's going to show it who's boss. Yep. Nom, 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 nom. That's a really cool Mumu skin, actually. Yep, Infernal like and Mumu. It's definitely a good one. All right, and they're back We're at trading. it in the top lane. At this point with Orin, you can see his items here. Uh, he has completed the bomby as well, and he's... Uh, He's working his way towards his, his first mythic, uh, his first item, I should say, that's going to be a mythic, and oh, we might have an all-in. Oh, all coming out, landing on that Fiora, getting knock up, let's see, chasing her down, ooh, she slowed, and yep, he's like, my lane. And again, um, I, I was kind of mentioning it, but then we had the scuffle, but uh, he started out a bit of a CS... Uh, deficit? Deficit, thank you. Um, and now he is over 20 ahead, so... Once he really got going, and especially now with the kill and assist, there, there's he's six hundred gold up substantial total. Substantial lead up in that top lane. Yeah, substantial lead up there, and uh, we can see the the play gold from the mid lane play really making a decent amount of difference in the overall gold score because they are dead even actually. Liking the the uh, calls from Hilliard, you can see that they're communicating even via pings about when they're. 
summoners are up and when the enemy sum summoners are up. All right. All right. Drake coming up here. I think that's going to be postured for by both sides. You can see the blue team trying to hover around the vision, trying to see what they can do. And objectives are something, vision is an objective in and of itself, um, not only just because it gives you awareness of the map, but also oh, because for... you need to have it for the other objectives. Warwick, pop in. Oh, no, nope, just hang in. Okay. Let's see. Blue side now going in for the vision dance, dropping pink ward. And Hilliard might be giving this. Yeah, I'm not sure. We'll see if they want to move into contest. We do have a TP coming in. Okay. TP coming oh, in, Echo heading in, getting stunned, but oh, TP being answered there, let's see, jumping in, three-man knock-up, that's huge, Mystical popping off there, let's see, Go lots of damage coming out, Amumu ignited and dead, Warwick getting that kill, Fiora going down to the Echo, and that was much better for Hilliard, five men still alive on the Hilliard squad, turning their eyes to the Drake, and yep, they they have to give it, Shilkati can't can't answer that back. Man, you saw the fantastic Wombo from Hilliard there. They just couldn't move. Three yep. members CC'd they until they were practically the dead. And that is what this composition wants to do with the Echo, with the Orn, with the Rakan, with the Zaya, with the Warwick. You have so much zone control around these teamfight objectives. So great job there. Great setup. Great TP. And a, a 2 0 Drake lead is going to put them in a great position. For Soul. And yeah. now they are 2k up, 2.5k up. And they knocked down that mid turret to answer the previous one they'd lost, which is really nice. Um, just in terms of map pressure. Echo backing off here, spending his gold from that play. He's got his money. Let's spend it up. We can see here Ooh, a, a different good. story now that that fight has happened. We have. Uh, about a 1400 gold lead for the ADC alone, and uh, the gold's are growing in the top lane at about a 900 or 800. Fiora, gold I don't know lead. if you want this girl. Like, he, he's a big boy now. He, yeah, what, he I, what I had started saying before is that at this point in the game, uh, even a few minutes ago when we started talking about it, the Orn is really difficult for the Fiora to deal with if she doesn't get ahead. He just gets enough armor that she can make trades all day, but if the it trades uh, are it not won't sticking, end with his then, death, yeah. yeah. Nice little bit of poke there, and does yep. get answered back, and you can see, even though the Orn did a lot less Ooh. damage, the percentage of the health bar is about the same. Yep. And they're still trading back and forth. Ignite popped there. Now Fiora does have some lifesteal, so gonna try and hit these minions, get some back, but again, just the trades coming out from the Orn. Ooh, so but now Vigar with. roaming up, so this could be a different story, and, and Orn respects that, respects the numbers advantage. Warwick. Oh, looking for the Herald, maybe? Yeah, and Zaya coming up here. Okay, engage in. The cage coming down. And Mumu, though, is getting the damage. The Zaya just going to town. I mean, he just... There's nothing he could do. She was oh, just man. feather hitting him the whole time. Oh, Let's see, Rakan charge! Uh... <laughs> Ornall <laughs> coming in, landing up oh, there. Oh, but the, the sun, sun under the turret. Okay, he's okay. Backs off. That was really funny. But yep. <laughs> just, just the Rakanal just ran out to get it. Couldn't get that charm off. <laughs> yep, and I think they've already started up on the Herald here. Nice. Yep, they're getting it done. They're probably going to rotate over, make sure they get it safely. Meanwhile, Echo just holding off the two members on the bottom Which side. Which is really nice in terms of himself. pressure. Yeah, he's, he's absorbing the pressure of those two players to make sure they have the... Oh, oh girl! Fiora going back. Oh, that was a beautiful flash. Uh, you almost wanted oh. to live after that. That was a beautiful flash. Beautiful flash and... Mystical, seeing if he can. Yeah, get a, get a I mean, you breathe on her, her, she yep. falls. Yep. Wow, but, uh, um, but good stuff. And yeah. not over chasing from Hilliard's side. That's good. Alistair landing that there. Echo being respectful of it, but uh, that'll be top turret down for Hilliard. Cage coming out. Ooh, stun landing. But again, the Rakan love shields him there. Yep, love shields and guardian shields him. It's it's gonna be that way. Yep. Oh. Nice. Okay, going in. Echo. Oh wow. my gosh, going that damage. Stun lands there, but this is his turret. It's going to hurt you. At the all coming out. Let's see. Oh, exhaust coming out. That was close, folks. And in a 2v1, that, that's pretty pretty spicy. And when you have a split pusher like this that can not only absorb the pressure from, but push back against two members of the enemy team, it gets so hard to deal with. Mm -hmm. We already saw that that gave them the numbers advantage on that Drake, that Amumu, there might have been some uh, discordance in the calls. He went in and his team wasn't right there to go with him, so a little bit more difficult to follow up on it. And uh, it just gave Hilliard the objective with the Herald. It gave them the tower. It almost gave them the kill on Fiora. So see how they move into this next play. Clearing out vision. They're able to push more into the jungle now. 
that some turrets are down there. We can see the gold advantage has grown to uh, about 3.6 thousand. Not insurmountable by any means, no, so no, the blue absolutely. side just needs to be looking how they want to play around this objective coming up. The Drake, the next thing on the table. Careful, that recline. Third Drake, there's a lot of people around there. I know Infernal Drakes are something that there's people... There's a lot of people. I love fighting over. Let's see what's happening down here. A lot of people. Here. here, you're not in your homeland. Warwick seeing, sensing his teammates in danger. We'll see if he makes it out. Looks like he might be going for the execute. Flying out is nice, nice with the... Blast Cone takes some turret damage. Mumu right on his heels. He's trying. He's trying. Vagar there. He's trying so hard. And oh, guy, the little hex tag Alistair Flash are watching his his body there. Um, so yeah, didn't get the execute. The cage must have been close enough, or maybe an auto. I didn't. Uh, yeah, I'm not see. actually sure what damaged him there. I didn't. Shucks. I didn't see it. It's a, I think a 15 second timer on execute. So. Maybe it just wasn't quite long enough, but, yeah. uh, are you curious now? No, oh, no, okay. I was just switching it back so the camera oh, okay, works gotcha, for us, gotcha. but, um, see what they do around this objective, and Vayne taking the trade, uh, in the bottom Let's side, Let's setting see. up around the drake. They are starting Oh, it. and they're starting the drake, Mumu on that. Maybe he's like, you're fire, I'm fire. Well, he's probably like, Irukhan is dead, we're gonna do this. Yeah, that too. Zaya oh, the gets old? the Vagar all coming out. Let's see TP coming in for Hilliard. Meanwhile, 2v2 in the bot lane, letting that suppress. Ornall comes in, and that's gonna be a Mumu going down. You can't do Drake now, jungler ain't here. Let's see bot lane, Alistar is in a little bit of trouble. Echo coming in was, oh, and they're just collapsing on him. That's gonna be, oh, Ignite out. Oh, he is a tanky boy, but they did what they needed to do, which was pressuring them away from Drake. Now they can turn their attention there. Man, two fights going on simultaneously, and Hilliard coming out on top for both, giving them that third dragon. Uh, you could see the Vayne getting caught out in that bottom side, and I, I think we missed where Mystical did end up getting the kill on the Vagar as nice he was job. dancing around in that stun, using his ultimate very well in that. Something that Zaya is so good at being safe. Feathers fly. And uh, Bubble Puppy protecting his tower up there, I know. It's, uh, yep, he's attached to his mental, he exactly, says. Exactly, <laughs> he exactly. loves that uh, top turret tower there. And he is protecting it. Fiora backing off. Ooh, mid turret going down tier two to Harold Dean, the second Rift Herald, we like to call her Harold Dean, um, in honor of our dear friend name. Riv from uh, Riot Games, Riv and Hilliard, League of Legends, we go way back. He's a good guy. So uh, Harold Dean taking down that second tier two turret. That'll be nice to open up the map. Uh, and you can see Hilliard pushing in because these turrets are going down, because they have this gold advantage, because they have this lead. They have, you know, they're getting the sole pressure point here to, they're, they're able to... And they've littered the jungle with vision to make it safe after mm, doing that. And you, you know, know I love that. I love me some good jungle if we look vision at litter. The, Don't the vision actually litter here, unless it's If we look at the vision, the vision toggle here, look at their jungle. They can see where the Alistar's roaming. They could mm -hmm, have seen the Amumu mm -hmm. when he was moving towards the jungle. And if we switch to the blue side here... That is one dark map on the other side, so... Ooh, yeah. Darkness is scary. Um, I like that. Like, don't litter unless it's vision. It's true, know? it's true. Yeah, litter, yeah. But that's... Yeah, I wouldn't even call it litter. I'd call it, like, beautifying. Yeah. Yeah. Lovingly placed. Um... Dog oh, double ward! <laughs> We've all hey, done sometimes that. Sometimes you do the, the power yeah. ward, you know? You just, yep. like... You, you go Great up minds think like, alike. Exactly. Not only that, you're like, if they find the vision here, they're really going to know we wanted it. Yeah, or, you know, depending upon when their sweeper was, you know, hit, they that might not true. be able to get both wards, or they'll have to pop another sweep sweeper, so. Orin saying, this is my turret, don't, my mental man. I did have a game where there was a jungler that was in the bot lane brush, and I just kept on placing wards there as a support to bait him long enough to clear them, to make a play with yes, it, so. Yes, you know it, you know it, like... Supports man, words are part of our mental. It like, is well, it is something I've you seen can do. Afro Moo turn back, look at a ward longingly, and then walk into a team fight. It, it is something where you can actually use it as a uh, kind of bait, right? Where yep. you know that they want to clear that ward yep. if you can keep them there long enough for a counter gank or something yep. like that. 
The two words is not always just, hey, we were thinking of the same thing at the same time. Oh, maybe oh, I'm Oh, Mumu here. going in, but there's lots of people around. Ornal coming up. Knock up landing. Oh, that's a huge stun. Wow, good for them. So Vagar actually getting that kill. This is looking a little worse. Oh, but Warwick able to answer back. The exhaust coming out on the Warwick Fjord. Now into the fray. Echo popping the all, getting back some life. Uh, Warwick getting the double kill there. Let's see. And this is bad. Still got the on the run. Flash out. Echo once it. Will Vagar live? Oh, going golden, and that might save his life. Oh, Ooh. nope, that doesn't save his life. Echo dangerously low, but still alive. And that, there were there was a brief moment where it looked like it was gonna, you know, be okay. And some of that, I think, was the timing on the Fiora joining that fight. You could see she kind of roamed in after the fight was over, and yes, they did get the pick with the Rakan going down, and he very importantly, it. they also got the stun on the Orn for him not to be able to use the second part of his ultimate, so... We actually have the Baron being started up Ooh. now for Hilliard, and Vayne is going to the bottom lane. They might just get this, and Mumu's still in base. Let's see. Echo really... Uh, oh, that's a huge shot. Don't go to Fiora. Yeah, not quite having the damage for that. He wanted it, though, but he also was distracting her. So that way, maybe they don't really realize they see Echo on the map. Maybe they think the others are resetting. That's Baron to Hilliard, and now they reset. Yep, and the Echo ult was very close to being off of cooldown uh, there. Mm -hmm. So um, looking for the outplay, didn't quite get it. And uh, that is a meaningful shutdown. You know, it does give Fiora a nice needed injection of gold. We do see the Eclipse on the Fiora, not something you would typically see on this champion. But... Ooh, also, yeah, look at the look. At very nice CS numbers again coming from Mystical in the bot lane. Um, and just, yeah, that's, that's nice. 515, 700 gold shutdown. And shutdown on three of the Hilliard members. 403205. That's some good stuff. Yep, we can see those advantages across the map as we look at these uh, gold differentials. And it's really coming out in the items, you know. Orn with those two fully completed Ooh. items now, along with going towards his next with about 1,500 gold worth. Um, we're having the setup for Soul, which is coming in 15 seconds. Let's see what happens. Yep. Let's see. Checking vision. Pink ward in there for Hilliard. Drake Echo's is showing up. Down. Alistar uh, doing Alistar. Spamming things. his little taunt thing. You yep. Know, yep. As yep. Alistars do. Yep. And here's the fight, see, I'm guessing. Hilliard getting some damage down. Cage coming out, trying to zone and see. Ornal coming in. So Hilliard choosing to start the engage, landing the knockup onto Alistar. Mumu going and landing the sun oh. on Warwick. But Asmnoob deleting Vagar. Let's see. Landing in the old Zaya is killing off a Mumu. That is that. Except Bubble Puppy getting the final word. And this is just going all kinds of no good for. Chokathi, and the dragon is deleted. Oh, the soul is on Hilliard's side now, and man, what a fight. You saw those little pockets of the fight being so close. The Warwick healing from the ultimate being incredibly clutch, and yeah, I don't think we... We only have the thorn mail from Amumu as the anti-heal for now, and, and that really coming in clutch for it, being a 5 for 0 for the side of Hilliard along with the soul, and we have to give credit to that echo flank as yeah. he came around from the tri brush to get onto the back line, pressuring out the damage on the vein from the team fight, making sure that she couldn't turn any of those little pockets. Yeah, that was all just really, really nicely done. Good positioning, too, from the damage doers. And, you know, they just... Chilkothi wasn't able to get on and delete anybody. And then they were all gone. So now using Baron buff and soul pressure um, of, you know, we can kill you in a team fight to get in on the space. Getting in on the space, knowing that they have the advantage in a, a commanding way now with the soul. You know, they already had a sizable gold advantage, but getting the ace, getting the soul, really completely changes the, the dynamic of this team fight game. Orin in the cage, like, it's fine, it's fine, I don't take much damage. Gets knocked in there, let's see, fight under turret, oh as you deleting Alistar. Orin out coming out. Deleting the tank, oh, man. Making in. That's okay, that's good stuff. It was zoning away the Amumu, so that way they can get this inhib. And this might be game. They might look for it. We'll see. Depends if they can get another pick, or they might back out and try to do the slow study. Yep, that's good. Smart call. Um, yeah, at this point, you know, you have two inhibitors. You have the soul. You have the baron that's going to be coming up in a little bit here. No reason to really press it. You know, maybe something you can go for, but uh, we see the items coming out after these buys. They are four, four shutdowns now on Hilliard's side. Good stuff. 
Yep, and uh, even when we had those three shutdowns before, that was only because Echo had yeah, a, had, had the, the death from yep, with Fiora. the Fiora. So reasserting his shutdown dominance. So I lost that... six hundred fifty, but it's back now to one fifty. Uh huh. And you know ADCs and red buffs. Hey, all of them are ours. We just let the jungler have the first one. Oh, okay. Well, that's just a really pretty skin. Talking about the Warwick, I'm just kidding. That Warwick skin's actually a little scary. Now with uh, the inhibitors down and the Baron buff not up quite yet, they are just moving towards this top side to pressure. A lot of pinks Ooh, coming out from the blue yep. side saying, let's what's go, going let's on? go, yep, let's not go, let's careful. not go. So I think yep. some split comms there, kind of wondering what to do in this situation. And I mean, I would wonder too, it's, you have to be feeling the pressure. Five to 20, they, you know, four drakes to well, their name, of course it doesn't go. Let's see if you are getting sun landing in on there, but that's a lot of damage oh or not goodness. coming in. The echo is just huge. Man, when you are an ADC in this situation with Stun, an that that's bad. funny. He hits his cowbell, he stuns him. Amumu behind, I don't know if he that's wants this. That's the down. All right, God, okay. Oh, Echo all coming down there. Let's see, he's 1v3ing right now. Zaya coming in to help land some damage. Exhaust oh. coming out, is he gonna get... Oh, again, she gets that shut down there. Not but the meanwhile, game. meanwhile, we're in base. Hitting it. And meanwhile, they're saying, hey, maybe we just end the game here. Yep. And, uh, if there was another wave that was in, in mid-wave pushing in, that'd be a little bit easier to end it, but still, good pressure. Yep, and with Vayne coming back up, just saying, hey, let's back off. We have the Baron, no reason to push it, but um, definitely happy to get a second shutdown there on the, the side of Chillicothe, maybe mm -hmm. giving them some hope that their carries can push Ooh. out against some of these lanes. Who's faster, or Khan or Fiora? I don't know, Rakan has the abilities, but Fiora's not quite going to be able to reach with that. Mm -hmm. Very close, very close. He's like, it's cool, it's cool. I'm just walk, walk it off, walk it off. Mm -hmm. Sweep a little bit, you know. Time to do the chores. Gotta sweep. Oh. And Mumu funny. and Vayne here on the bot side. Hilliard starting up. Baron. S sweeping this Baron off the map, it looks like. They aren't going to be able to contest without the jungler up there. Yep. Orin coming to help, maybe, ta oh, yep, kind of just watching, making sure people don't come through, or they might just say, hey, we're good, man, you go, show somewhere, and that's Baron gone. Yeah, Boom. you know, um, I think that basically Chillicothe is saying we have the chance at one final fight, you know, we yep. don't want to run out and uh, be away from uh, the safety of our Nexus turrets, we just want them to be able to push in, have us try and choose where the engage is happening, and... Yep. Hopefully, get a comeback if we do get all the shutdowns. Oof, Ooh. flash. No, I didn't quite get that. Tried there. to do the combo, but yep. uh, wasn't quite able to get in range for the headbutt to get the pulverize after the flash. So, nice try from the Alistair. It might have yep. looked a, a little bit far off, but if he had gotten the distance of the it headbutt, it would have been, been different. Nice. Especially on the Rakan. And let's see now. Turret. Rakan's like, oh, I can just tank. I mean, uh, Zaya's like, I can just tank this, and then turret's down. All right, Rakan all coming in, oh. getting that, but getting the stun, so knockup coming in. Oh, that's a lot of damage going down, actual board gone. Orn all coming in, and Chilkathi just deleted. Orn able to tank this turret for his friends and still hit the Fiora. And oh my gosh, it almost looked like he just got beat off the rift. Warwick coming in, getting that kill. Whew. And I think that is going to be all she wrote for game number one here. Uh, a great job by Hilliard pressing their advantage, a great job by Chillicothe trying to hang on, getting those comeback shutdown plays, but they are pushing in for the win. Yep. And you see Vagar's the only one left there. Goes golden. And they want it, hungry for it, and Zaya gets that ace. And now is that the one that we were talking about of who killed who. Was I able to get all five of those? No, Warwick got a couple Okay, there. Warwick got a couple yeah. of those, maybe, yeah, it'll be in a different game, but um, very, very nicely done, guys. That, I mean, is, that was a very decisive game in that it was very controlled. You could tell Hilliard thinking about objectives, thinking about vision before them, where they are, if they saw someone bot lane, then they knew if they could pressure Baron, um, and just overall really well done with team fight positioning too. Yep, great job, and we will see you back here for game, game number two. Game two!